once again it's time to jump on another plane to head off to another country for a quick three-day visit this time it is to Baku in Azerbaijan so join me for a really 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 quick glimpse into what Baku Azerbaijan looks like Now at this point you might be wondering where the hell is Baku? In fact, where is Azerbaijan? It's not a place you might actually have heard about. So to put it in perspective, Baku borders the Caspian Sea and that's to its east. So this is the Point Hotel in Baku, Azerbaijan quite large in here actually this room is really massive um, big shower and yeah toilet and massive bed that you can lie sideways and not even realize that you are lying sideways there's no lights to light it up so it is a little bit dark but you can see you get complimentary fruit like a whole big fruit platter so i've just realized you might not know where about in the world the caspian sea is either so Caspian Sea <clears throat> is bordered um, by, you got Georgia and Russia, and if Azerbaijan has uh, got Iran to the south as well, and Armenia is to the southwest, more or less west area. And Baku, which is the capital city of Azerbaijan, has a population of roughly two and a half million people. So it's not a massive, massive city, but it is an amazing blend of modern and old. They have the most weirdest shaped buildings, like really weird, but they've still got um, a lot of their um, old history you can see in the markets that are in the streets, but also they've got this old town with these beautiful old buildings some of which go right back to medieval times and in fact Baku was considered sacred by Zoroastrians who were fire worshippers and so they do have a building that has um, flames that come not real flames just made by luck so don't panic but yeah, they have these flames that um, come up on the side of the building at night, which is quite spectacular. I do have some footage of it later on in this video. So Azerbaijan is also famous for being a big oil and gas supplier. And it's like Turkey it's and Russia, it sits um, in... Europe and in Asia and another interesting fact is that not only are you allowed to drink alcohol in Azerbaijan or in Baku you're also allowed to drink it on the street which in Norway you are definitely not allowed to drink alcohol on the street if you have a bottle of uh, beer in Norway you have to have it uh, covered in a paper bag but in Azerbaijan, you can drink alcohol in the street. Not that I'm advising you to go out and start drinking in the streets wherever you are living. And as I was working during the day, it was only late afternoons and the evenings that I had to wander around the amazing, amazing old city. I really, really enjoyed it. 
Sadly, I wasn't able to go to other parts of Azerbaijan and explore the rest of the country. Three days in Baku, I suppose there is, is probably enough to see Baku itself. So if you're planning a visit, I would maybe try and include um, leaving the city and going to see other parts of Azerbaijan. There also seem to be lots of green areas and parks where you can just chill in. And a coastline, obviously, with beaches and um, a nice sort of promenade that you can walk along as well. I do count myself lucky that I get these short assignments where I can visit countries that um, would not normally be on my travel agenda and I can get to experience the culture, um, a little bit of the history, sample some of the different kinds of food um, and I really am blessed to be able to experience this. So I'm, I'm not taking it um, for granted, I realize not everybody is as lucky, I guess. So if you look carefully, you can see these flame buildings over there um, that I told you about earlier in the video. So I make videos of all my trips, however short they are, and um, post them onto YouTube. So there's lots more videos coming. So if you can like and subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely awesome and I will see you on my next adventure.